Hi, uh, Andrew Kalanak, the incompetent cook for Booktopia TV. I'm just looking at Gary Mann's wonderful new book favourites, and I'm just going to cook a miso salmon with cucumber and minced salad. I just need the sa Gary. Gary, do you have the herbs in the salmon? I do, man? actually. That's wonderful. Strange that Thanks. I just kind of popped into Thanks, the Gary. That's what, oh, no sorry, problem. Gary Mann. I'm actually just yeah, Andrew's servant, his lackey. Right, so are you cooking? I'm cooking, but you've got to show me because there's some okay. wonderful recipes here. And so I'll why did you pick this one? Why did you pick this recipe? Because well, my, stand out? Because my body's a temple, Gary, and I like salmon. What I like about this book is that you've put some beautiful uh, big beef burgers in there, but yeah. you've also put something for the healthy yeah. people like me. There's a page of chilies, page of burgers, page of bread, but some achievable recipes, and this one's a good one. So I'm curious to see, have you actually read the recipe? I mean, shall I keep it over? I'll keep the recipe over here and I'll just kind of help you along. So, yeah. first step, what does this say? Combine this. Do you want to do that or should we look? I want to look at this because yeah. I'm not sure that looks very appetizing. <laughs> the, the whole idea is to, uh, we use brown rice miso, which I yep. assume you've used in there with a little Correct. mirror and it's a glaze, yep. and then you marinate that. Yes. But what I'm worried about is it kind of looks a bit wet and I don't know, like, where's, why is there water in there? Well, I, I had ice cubes. Let's pop in it there. open. Let's yeah, open. yeah. Oh, yeah. ice cubes, great. Yeah. And you just want a zen like sizzle, and I put it in. Um, what? A zen-like sizzle. Zen you, know, like, you know like when you're standing in the backyard with a beer and you put something on the barbecue, it shouldn't burst into flames. That's not a zen-like sizzle. Okay, let's do this. That's zen-like. That's zen-like? Yeah, I like it. Yep. And then let's make the dressing. And I'm looking at my recipe and it says combine all the ingredients for the rest for the dressing, which is uh, chopped shallot, some tamari rice vinegar olive oil, sesame oil. And I'll put the uh, I'll put the tamari, which is the soy sauce. It's sort of like yeah. a free. Uh, it, it sounds. It smells like a soy sauce that's been drinking. So essentially, we're forming a dressing with the tamari. It's beautiful. I like it. I think you're doing all right. So far. Yeah. I don't reckon you're that incompetent. There we go. I know. I could be very wrong. We've got that on tape. <laughs> Have you read the recipe? Oh, it, yes. says, it says. It says here. It says. Um, There's finely chopped. It's fine as I'm ever gonna get. Is it? I'll show you the definition of finely chopped. And we can we can slice finely, because I see you want to slice finely. Okay. Let's try you on this one. Ooh, that would be fine. Yeah. Even if you can do me a couple of slices like that, okay. I'll be very impressed with you. Yeah. And then we'll tease that apart and we'll more more pop that in the dressing. Yeah. Yeah. More, more impressed. More impressed. Yeah. I'm trying to encourage you to fuck it up. And I'm gonna always put something I can tell the fish over it. This is there you go. Uh, it's the train wreck. So we've got the finely chopped shallot, well some, uh, most of it's in the bin. We've got uh, tamari, we've got rice wine vinegar, we've got olive oil, we've got sesame oil, we've got castor sugar, and a little bit of Jap Japanese mm. mustard powder. Mm. And I'm going to check the salmon. Because the salmon actually, because it's quite thin, won't take very long at all. Yeah. In fact, yep. I reckon that's, that's, that's nearly done, yeah. Uh, do you want to play it up? That's what we call it in the industry. Uh, play it up. We've never heard that term before. <laughs> that's funny. So we'll let we'll let that sit and rest because yeah. and that can actually cook. It's a little unfair. That can actually cook while it's sitting on the plate, can't it? So you're not incompetent at all. Hey, there we go. You, you must have read that somewhere. Yeah, almost in a book. Possibly, possibly. Gary Mann's favourites. So what's next? Yeah, you, you read. You, you read. Right. So we've done. Mm -hmm. What have we done? We've done. We combined the. Uh, yeah, we've done that. We've combined the uh, the mirror and the miso, and we've marinated salmon, and then we've cooked the salmon. And there's this place. Yes. sprouts, herbs. See. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so at the moment we have to place the sprouts and herbs in a bowl of iced water mm. to keep them crisp. Mm. Haven't totally done that, but it's yeah, there. That's because I think we need there. I reckon okay. that's right. 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 So, can you remember any of that? No, you've forgotten. There's something about the herbs. Right. So, how am I looking for Master Chef, Gary? And, uh, yeah, I reckon ten years of sure. of, ten years of consistent training and a, a hard taskmaster, and you'll be fabulous. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, you'll be excellent. ready to go. What's your favourite herb, Gary? I love all fresh herbs. Yep. I love all fresh herbs, but I'm a big fan of uh, coriander, Vietnamese mint. Yep. Um, I love the dill because um, it's great with things like fish, chicken, and I tend to use herbs these days more like salad leaves. You know, so instead of your regular iceberg or your cosletters, just chuck lots of fresh herbs. So you know what happens is you go and buy some herbs. Yep. You put them in a recipe, and then those herbs just go off. Use them. Put them in everything. Mm. So if you're making yourself a little salad or even a sandwich. You know, like banh mi, which is those Vietnamese yeah, love uh, them, love them. rolls. Then you know, put some mint in it. Will just change the change the dynamics of uh, what you're eating. Right, so a bit of mint, and then what you have to do, because what the water does is crisp all of this up. Okay. So you bought some bean sprouts here, and they're pretty ropey. Yep. All right. <laughs> they're old. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so what I do is I actually um, I pick them, so that rather than being scraggly and a little brown, let's say like this. 
but they're nice and clean and mm, sparkly. Totally. Yep. And you know, it's re it's really that little bit. It's a bit time consuming. Yeah. But the results are always going to be good. If you're not a gr if you don't love food, you know, if it's always a challenge for you, then I, my advice is always to get good at something. Pick something like the barbecue or a roast or, chuck and or just a, or just a salmon meat salad. That's totally it could be your. You know what? It could, this it. could be your thing. Yeah. It doesn't it's look good already. Yeah. That on there just to drain for a second, and then put a, put about I don't know half of that cucumber yep. in there, and we'll put half of these in there, Ooh, like that. and we'll leave a little bit of the fresh herb for the top. And then it says in the recipe it says add the pickled ginger and the half of sesame seeds, and add half the dressing, toss to combine. Easy as. Oh, this looks fantastic. That's good, doesn't it? I'm sure. Quite pleased with that. Quite. Yeah. I don't think you're incompetent at all. Oh, I'm yes. helping you a lot. Yeah, a little bit. Cost to combine. You see, you forgot that bit. You did that gold fishing thing again. <laughs> and this is divide the salad on the plates. Yes. Oh, oh that. that is fantastic. Right. And then piece of salmon, maybe that bit. Yep. And I reckon that looks better. You can use your hands if you want. Yep. Let's just let's tidy it up a wee bit. Right. Now go on. Get in there, show some little intensity, okay. play it up. Let's see what your score is from the challenge. Put a little bit of, uh, you can put a little oh, bit of those wow, of ginger wait. on if you want. He's doing all right. I want to, I want to, yeah, I want to tidy you up a little bit. <laughs> I can hear it insanely <laughs> messy. I could just picture Andrew it's now just... sitting in front of the TV, smiling like a Cheshire cat, enjoying this beautiful, healthy salmon dish. Yep, that's right. And in the kitchen. <laughs> Yeah, right, it'll get taken. Go on, tuck in. Okay. I'll, get, I'll get a knife and fork because obviously you got yourself one. <laughs> first of all, first of all, okay. let's have a little look at how well oh, yeah. that salmon's cooked. Look that at that. That's pretty good to me. Isn't wow. that? That is absolutely perfect. And the reason it's perfect is because it's caramelizy and interesting on the outside from that miso. Mm. And then we've just rested that through so it's perfectly pink and not dry. That's fit. And salmon can go dry. He's got talent. Playing confident you, cook. He's all right, isn't he? You like it? It's beautiful. If you, if you could cook this at home and you could do it this well, would you be pleased with yourself? Absolutely. And if I can do it, anyone can do it. Just up. I think that was a perfect help because as an incompetent cook, I think you've done very well. Thank you. I strange you, those recipes must work. <laughs> so Gary? And I think that line was, if you can do it, anyone can do it. Gary Mann's new book, Favourites, is available from booktopia.com.au right now. Just keep eating. <laughs>